I've got 2.8 quadratic models. Oh, uh, how about we classify some scatter plots? That's always a good time. Um, and when we classify these, these are either going to have the positive, negative, or no correlation. Uh, we're also going to uh, use some scatter plots in a graphing utility, or a calculator, to find quadratic models. And then the third thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a model that best fits a set of data. Now, whenever we're talking about choosing a model, don't get this confused and be like, oh, hey, you know, we can take that out and just put a client in there because that's, you know, that's not the right type of model. Um, I used to be a model back in the day, Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, I modeled their gloves, so let's not get too excited here. It's not that big of a deal. Um, all right, so a lot of times um, in real life, you actually have relationships that are parabolic. A scatter plot can give you an idea of what type of model will best fit your set of data. So if we look at um, our first example here, we need to determine whether the scatter plot would best be modeled by a linear model, a quadratic model, or neither. So if we look at A, well, if we were to draw a line through this data, it'd go through like that. Well, that's not a great linear model. Um, if you were to draw a quad... These are just not very good. So in this case, we're going to go with neither. So if we say for A, neither model would be great. Um, we will learn in... Uh, few lessons later what would be a better model and this is just being a separate chapter though don't you worry um, now here in B this you know if you draw a line through here uh, didn't really go through your data very well maybe you draw a quadratic and it goes through here oh hey so I say for B let's use a quadratic model so there is how you look at your graphs and determine whether it's linear, quadratic, or neither.